right, man. Say it, because it's going to be all hell out here, man. Like the brother uh, Nazizaki said, man. Right. And like Second Edger said, yeah, 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 these people going to dwell in torments, man. Right. Uh, everything that's leading up to uh, that ultimate plague, which is the mysteries, man. Yeah. This is uh, back in the Lamentations 4 and uh, 9. I'm reading again. They that be slain with the sword are are better than they that be slain with hunger. Yeah, because the sword is a quick death, all right? Yeah. It's real quick. One, two, three. Hey, a hunger, that, that, that's things, man. You know, your body slowly is deteriorating. Hallucinating. Hallucinating. Yeah. Oh, for these pine, pine away stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. That's it. Yep. That's it. Hey, you gonna pine away stricken, man. Yeah. So you have one, brother? Uh, this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Right. right. And that's what Yahweh shall bring him when he get here, man. But in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter says what, man? He shall consume him with the spirit of his mouth. Hey, that starts uh, first spiritually, man. And that's what we're doing now, man. The prophets are the, uh, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And the Lord said that he would put his words in our mouth as fire. And these people would, man. So this ain't his word is burning you goddamn devils up, man. That's right. And you two thirds. So uh, back in uh, Second Ezra nine verse ten, now it says, "For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me." Huh, have received benefits. That's 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 your uh your um you know your benefits in the world. Your high paychecks, your, your fancy cars, your nice apartment, roof like, over your head. Kind of like scripture say, uh, what is it that you that you um a man gain the whole world? Uh, sell a soul and gain the whole world. Or something yeah. to that effect. Hey, because the Lord said He make it the rain uh, 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 to come down on the uh, just and the unjust, man. So the hey, hey, so that new job you got, man, paying fucking fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars an hour, y'all by some y'all shot gave you that job, man. Is you praising Him for it? No. You rolling up your blunts, popping another nigga woman, man. This is uh Second Edges nine and eleven. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, while they had yet opportunity to get right, man, while this grace, while repentance was open, it says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, man. And one of those pains is that famine that we just spoke about, man. You gonna pine away, man. And not only famine, man, you might get ate. A group of Edomites might have your ass preserved in the basement, like on the movie The Road, man. College. Or the people under the steps. Gun, man. Like you don't know, man. And for a nigga to say, man, yeah, yeah, man, well, shit, fuck it, man. Since we gonna be in the kingdom anyway, I might as well do what I do. Hey, that shows no fear, y'all, by shot, y'all, shot, man. Hey, the Lord gonna bring your worst, the worst thoughts, man, upon you, man. Proverbs 1 said he gonna bring your calamities upon you, man. Something you fear the most, y'all, by shot, y'all, shot, is gonna do that to you. shall be saved okay. just like you, how you said who's the world who's the world is and for whom the world is created right whom the world is and whom the world is created man the uh the world uh, was created for our sakes meaning the uh the kingdom of heaven man because the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth and when you read uh first ezra uh chapter two it tells you the kingdom is already prepared man right. so now we worried about how to make that transition from being flesh to uh yeah, being perfect man it says, Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, man. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. You know? Hey, like Second Edra says, man, it says that this world was made for many, but the one to come for a few. So if you if this word ain't got no uh, uh, place in you, man, live it up, man. Do what the fuck you do, man. Like we, like we tell them, you know, 
tell Esau, we tell Jake, man, go, 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 go do the pentagram, man, go, go worship Satan, man, go pop the mollies, go max out your credit cards, lift the fuck up, man, because this is, this is all y'all got, y'all got shit, by the way, y'all got the littlest, y'all got the lowest of the low, man, the money ain't shit, man, when you go into history, you'll find out that, beginning from the Syrian Empire, when it comes to money and wealth, it kept on depreciating. All the way to Babylon. We got the worst of the fucking worst right now, man. And you niggas going head over heels for this shit, man. You know? Y'all ain't even stopping to thinking about the Lord, man. But that's okay. That's cool. Because it's more precious to us, man. You know? The Lord is more precious to us, man. So we we, we, we don't give a fuck about this shit, man. You know? You got something? I'm just going to get it out. This is Proverbs 8 and 35. For whosoever findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me, love death. Hey, that's King Solomon speaking. And who was King Solomon? That's your was shot, man. He was speaking of wisdom. So when you start up, he said, I, wisdom, dwell uh, 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 with prudence. It was King Solomon speaking in the spirit, man. Because wisdom is your shot, man. He is the book. You know? So it says, him that findeth me, findeth life. Him that findeth the hour shy, findeth life, man. But him that sinneth against him, wrongeth his own soul, man. They that hate the hour shy, love death, man. And Wisdom of Solomon's second chapter says, matter of fact, I get it instead of quote. So, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, in the last verse. And it says, nevertheless, through envy of the devil... Came death into the world, and they that do hold on his side do find it, man. So whoever joined hand in hand with this devil is gonna find death, man. Right. Right. And you know what? And that, and you want to tra not transition, but that goes to you fucking uh, uh, uh you two thirds, man. You, you celebrities, man. Yeah. Y'all 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 holding the devil uh, uh by the hand, man. Walking across the fucking street, man. Yeah. You know. Y'all holding hands with the devil, and you motherfuckers gonna get put to death, man. That goes to all you uh, celebrities who claiming the Hebrew Israelites and all that stuff like that, man. Right. Thinking this is a game, thinking it's funny, thinking it's a joke, man. The Lord gonna put nothing but torment on you, man. You know? Look at Mike Epps, man. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah for, uh, I forgot the, his kangaroo. What's the... Yeah, the kangaroo kicked his ass, his fucking uh, wife. The wants divorced a divorce and, yeah. like, wants a absurd amount of money. Yep. Yeah. All these uh, calamities are falling apart, man. And that's because you mark the, uh, the, the, the men of the Lord, man. First and foremost, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, and then also the men of the Lord, man. Yeah, hey, and he had ample opportunity to repent. Uh, he ran into the brother in L.A. twice. Yep. He ran into the brother Mariala out here, uh, uh, yeah. you know. So, hey, you ran into the men of the Lord, man. Yeah, and, and, and Jake is fucking stiff-headed, stiff man. You know, now here it is, your man, who, who you did that bullshit with, you know, even if it was, it was about, what, seven years ago, six years ago? That man dropped dead. The Lord killed him. Now, you of your stupid ass around here thinking it's all la, 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 man. You know, that's why the Lord keep on probing at you, man. To eventually, he may kill your whole family in front of you, man. So you can suffer, you know? If the Lord's about suffering, man. The Lord can play with you, man. You know? Go ahead. I'll probably it's, think uh, it's Second 1 and 27. She definitely was. You have not, as it were, forsaken me. But your own selves, saith Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh Shai. Perfect. That's a good answer. That's enough. Uh, the second answer is chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time that dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Man. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Yeah. Fine, fine. Uh, that's why uh, the Lord got the food stamp getting cut off. You know, Jacob going through that struggle, man. Yep. Uh, uh, child support. Um, um, uh, actually, what actually was really coming is the race riots. Those are the miseries, man. The starvation period. Those are uh, the miseries that's coming, man. Uh, it's a search as, uh, for such as be like thee, uh, as puppets, man. Yeah, see, for those with the same understanding, man. Because there's an elect, man. It says, for unto you is paradise open. Unto you. Unto you is paradise open, man. That sounds like Matthew 13 that the brother just read. Unto you is given the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. That's paradise, man. Hey, man. It's like I'm about to say, man, show how, so much, how much mercy the Lord is, man. He's still going to accept you two-third niggas, you know, eventually, you know? That's mercy, man. You know, and on top of that...
It's spirit of, spirit is like the wind, Lord, brother. Man. The, we, we are, man's going to the Lord. We don't yeah. know what we're doing. So the Lord got us out here. Time, time. We don't plan each day. We, nope. It's all we led by the spirit. But uh, yeah, like I was about to say, show how the Lord got mercy, man. And when he said uh, paradise, right? You come and ask the Why y'all out here? We give him the salvation, man. That's why we out here, man. Because death is finna happen. That's right. That's why we out here, man. The same thing we've been talking about since we started the camera. Why we out here? Death is coming to America. That's right. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Right, to show the transgression of you fucking two thirds, man. That's right. That's why we out here, man. That's right. The so called white man is the devil. That's, That's right. That's why we out here. World War Three is finna happen. That's why we out here. To wake up our people, man. That's why we out here. To wake up uh, goofies like him, man. That bitch right there. Proverbs, the first chapter says what, man? To give subtility unto the simple. That guy was simple. And we were striving to get subtility unto him. But guess what? How that was he simple. We love simplicity, yep. man. It's lucky. Bro. No, it's cool, bro. That was a perfect. That was a perfect example of what, man? Of his word. Uh, Yahweh Shai's word not being in him, man. Right. Because hey, hey, if he was other sheep, he would have heard his voice and he would have been standing there listening like the brother right there, man. No, we're all equal. Go ahead. This is Zechariah chapter thirteen, verse eight. And this shall come to pass that in all the land, say if Yahweh. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right. Two parts shall be cut off and die, man. Go ahead. But the third shall be left therein. But the third shall be left therein. That don't sound like equalness to me, man. Exactly. And then the whole deal on top of that, man. Hey, maybe, hey, maybe later on in his life he might get it before this shit kick off. But if not, man, he falls under that two third category. That ass gonna get cut off and die, man. I gotta preach something. This mic or two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, right. even with the sword destruction. And that's what we out here telling them, dumb ass niggas, man. Hey, we out so here? arise ye and depart, because this is not your rest, man. This place ain't your rest, man. You ought not to be comfortable in this place, man. Right. You should be sighing and crying according to the scriptures. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, set a mark upon those men that are signing and crying, man. That's right. So if you hate to be in this bitch, man, hey, you should be out here signing and crying, man. That's why we out here. That's why we out here, man. Right. And it says that it will pollute you and it will destroy you with a sore destruction, man. Uh, hey, hey, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to just find it. I got, I got something to mm -hmm. uh, Why we out here? This is, um, hold on. This is Revelation 7 and 1. And, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the tree. And I was talking about the thermonuclear missiles. Yep. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth. Neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the service of our power in their foreheads. And yeah, that's why we out here. Man. That's why we out here, man. To seal the elect. Hey, in the back of the brother, this is Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus said Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. And rising up against his prophets is rising up against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Exactly. It says, And them that rise up against me. A destroying wind, man. Right. And that's that destruction that that's the brother that spoke of, man. This is uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15. And the Lord Yahweh of the Father sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Right, us being out here shows the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That shows the compassion he has right. upon his people, man. Because he just ain't going to outright just kill your stupid ass, man. Right. He going to warn you first, man. That's right. Hey, because he's a just power, as That's the scripture just, says. Man. But Go they ahead. mocked the messenger. But what the... you did, man. Second address 9, when we were standing out here, you know, this is the door of repentance here, man. We hold the way of salvation, man. Can a brother, Baba Kushai, before you finish that, Acts 16, 17. We hold the way to salvation, man. 
this is the door of repentance here, man. Y'all was shy saying that uh, um, 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 where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst, man. Right. That's the door. Yeah, uh, uh, 16, 17. Wow, we out. Oh, chapter 16, verse 17. Acts chapter oh, 16, verse 17. It says, The same fellow Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High Power. These right. men are the servants. Goes back to Amos 3 and 7. The servants are the prophets, man. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Which show unto us the way of salvation. Which show unto us the way of salvation, man. So that's why we out here, man. To show unto our people the way of salvation, man. To tell your dumb ass to repent, man. That's right. To turn from your sins, man. That's why we out here. And if you don't follow after that, you're going to get this. This is Acts 3 and 23. And it shall come to pass that every soul which not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. That's right. And that's plain, man. And that's plain, man, because we are the messengers, man. That's As right. the scripture says, man, we are ambassadors for Yahweh yeah, Shai. We right. speaking in behalf of Yahweh Shai. Because that's the prophet that he spoke of, man, in uh, Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter. Right. Yahweh Shai was that prophet that was to come, man. Right. And whoever didn't hear him shall be destroyed. That's right. We are ambassadors for Yahweh Shai, so therefore we're speaking on his behalf, man. Yeah. He said, my sheep hear my voice. Who voice are you hearing? The men that's out there sighing and crying, man. That's right. right. And if your spirit resonate with it, then you of his sheep, man. That's right. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh yep. and despised his words yep. and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Exactly, man. Jeremiah said in the 18th chapter, man, hey, uh, uh, I stood to turn the wrath from these people, man. Uh -huh. I turn to tell them to repent so the Lord can uh, uh, won't destroy you niggas, man. But they did a pick for my soul, man. Yep. We out here standing for you people. And you goddamn people is, is planning to kill us, man. But you niggas want to talk about love all fucking people, man. All let's all camps come together, man. How the hell can all camps come together? You know? Not even all camps, all all people, man. Israel, all Israel can't be saved right now, man. That's right. You know? That's why Jeremiah got pissed off. You know? And he, and then he said, um, I, I called it early, uh, Jeremiah 16 and one, or for, or you can start from three. When it said he said, um, uh, pray not for these people. Or was it sixteen to sixteen or some some of that effect? I kind of I got I got to pick up the scripture. Eleven to six. Okay. But he said, um, huh? But he said he pray not for these people, man. Don't weep, don't weep for these people, man. Cause dumbass questions like that. Here it is, the men of the Lord is out here for your salvation, man. You know, we out here to do, do, even even us being out here is to help you get to the kingdom, man. You, us being out here is for you to get to the kingdom eventually, man. Because the damn devil is oppressing you. That ain't nigga probably going to work somewhere to work for the damn devil. You know? And that's the thing, man. We walking in the spirit. We upsetting these people, man. It ain't going to be no every Saturday thing, man. You know? Y'all think it's an every Saturday thing. Israel like, no, nah, man. We flow through the spirit, man. When it's time for judgment, it's time for judgment, man. That's right. And maybe to us being out here was for him to be judged, man. Just for him to come and mark himself, you know. Hey, he, he's in, in the spirit revealed it because he sees us out here every Saturday. He exactly, and he just it upset him and, and, and messed up his mind, man. He came up and said it. Well, what makes y'all out here today? Y'all used out here Saturday. Well, I want to so see y'all niggas on my Wednesday going to fucking work or some shit, man. <laughs> so he basically what it was, time. man. That nigga just got marked, man. He marked for death, man. <laughs> so he knows we out here every Saturday, man. That, that was the same guy from this past weekend. He was over there, and he was so anxious to, like, speak and stuff like that. And he was, like, too much in his sauce and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then, That's not him. Huh? That's not him. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> Keep going. That's a lie. Yeah, I'm holding. Right. I'm holding. What you want? This is uh, Jeremiah 11 and 14. Huh. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, uh -huh. neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. Yeah, man, so when these niggas get mowed down by the street, man, by the devil, man, okay, martial law is coming, man. The famine is coming, man. Race rise is coming, man. You old frail, weak-ass body niggas, man. These devils, these devils is, is, is training out here, man. They finna, uh, um, they finna, like, really crack down on Jake, man, when the race rise crack off, man. The Lord love a war, man. He love to see a man's face get squished by a truck, you know? Or his head blown the fuck off by a shotgun or something, man. And he still live, man. Get 
shot in the face by with a semi, and he's still living, man. I've seen it happen yep. before, man. Still breathing, still living, man. You hey, know? The Lord a, like that shit, man. He said he's a man of war, man. Hey, it appeases his wrath, man. Huh? You know, the scriptures speak about repentance uh, 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 appeases his wrath. Once you repent, you acknowledge your sins, and you turn from them, yeah. that appeases the Lord. But if not, judgment appeases the Lord, man. Hell, even Slaki, even, even, it, it pleased, it pleased him for his son to get put to death, man. So how much more it pleased for you motherfuckers to get wiped off the planet, man? To get, to get destroyed, man? The Lord loves a lot of uh, uh, death and war, man. You know? Go ahead, I'll... Yeah, finish this off. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So the Lord ain't gonna hear your prayers, man. Yep. That's not um, this is uh, Matthew chapter 23, verse 37. Uh -huh. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not um, be behold your... Is that right? Where you at? And ye would not... And ye would not. Oh, and ye, and ye would not. Or they didn't get it. Yeah. Hey, which goes back to the second address of uh, first chapter that the uh, brother had me read, man. Where it says, ye have not forsaken uh, the Lord, but your own selves, man. I'm going to go back to it. And it, oh, go, you, you and it goes to that Chronicles, because in that Chronicles, the brother, not the Zaki read, uh, it said that they, 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 they mocked the messengers, man. All right. And then, then what? They killed them, man. Despitefully used them, man. That, that, that's Jerusalem, man. It's Zechariah 14, 12. Tells you, all that fight against us shall melt, man. So two-thirds of you niggas, a lot of you niggas going to receive that uh, nuclear fire, man. Yep. Hey, what do y'all wish I say? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Thou that stonest the prophets, man. Nah, that's, that's what we just read. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> hey, and another thing, man. If you make it to them nukes, guess what? That means you you saw all that other shit, too. Yeah. And made it uh, through it. Yeah. And you and that means you, you got touched by it. You, you went through the famine. You barely made it. You probably ate somebody. Ate your kids. All right? That means you you you, yeah. you got faced with them beasts. Ran and escaped a little and thought it was over with, man. Oh, so that so serpent bite your ass. Time. That flying serpent, man. Them nukes. This is John, chapter 3, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the Holy Begotten Son of the Most High. And this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world. And, and, that, men like and that condemnation is talking about Yahweh Shah, but we come in that likeness of Yahweh Shah. The condemnation meaning judgment, okay? This is the judgment, the light is coming to the world. This is coming to the world now, man. So guess what? It is time for judgment, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, because the Lord said that uh, if I had not come, they would have had no cloak for themselves, yeah, man. See that? But now that I am here, man, now they have no cloak for the idiot. You can't say I didn't know, man. Right. It says, Jeremiah 44 not, 4. It says, Because he has not believed in the name of the only God and Son of the Most High, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil, Hated the light, now that cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in the most high. Right, so that's letting you know that a nigga want to continue to be a wicked ass nigga. You know? And that's why the Lord said it in Revelation 22. You know? He that is wicked, let him be wicked still, man. So we go out here, we warn you, man. Two admonitions reject, man. We tell you, man. It's Zeke out of second chapter, whether they hear or whether they prepare, man. This is our job, to get the blood off our hands, man. If they correct themselves, cool. If they not... Angels rejoice, man. That's right. I got the Ezekiel chapter. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the spirit entered... Entered me into me, entered into me. And we, we stood upon our feet now, man. Revelation the 11th chapter. Right. The Spirit entered into us and we stood upon we our feet. The exceeding great army. Yeah. Ezekiel the 37th chapter. That's, That's what got these Edomites and these heathen spirit, man, because we standing up now, man. Right. Wisdom of Solomon the 5th chapter, man. We standing in great boldness, yeah. you know, in the face of those that uh, uh, afflicted us, man. That's right. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. And the and, spirit entered into me 
the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, Spirit of Understanding, Yahweh Shai entered into us, man. That's right. Go ahead. And set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me. That's that knocking at the door, man. When you go into John the 10th chapter, how the Lord knocked at the door, man. You know, bringing that great revelation to this truth. Revelations, yeah. Revelations too. Yeah. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee unto, children, unto the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. And that's all of us, man. We all rebel. Hey, but according to Isaiah, the 10th chapter, man, the 21st and 22nd verse, only a remnant shall return, man. Go ahead. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. For they are imprudent. Even to this very day, man. So this is talking about you two-thirds, man. Because the one-third is coming back in, man. They're acknowledging their sins. They're repenting. They're coming back to their heritage. You know? They're praying in the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. In faith. For they are imprudent children and stiff heart. I do send thee unto I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. And that's what we saying, man. Uh second address fifteen said, uh I will put my word uh, speak with I was uh my words, man. And that's what we doing. The Lord put his words in uh, in our mouth. Yahweh Shah said, it is not you that speak it, it is the Father that speaketh within you, man. Mm -hmm. Remember? Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Whether they will hear or whether they forbear, man. That's right. The scripture well, says to prophesy it. to the wind, man. So if nobody hearing this, man, hey, hey, we're going to prophesy to the wind, man. Go ahead. For they are a rebellious house, mm -hmm. yet shall know that they have salaki, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Right, man. The second age of 16 says in that day, my, uh, uh, shall it be known who are my chosen, man. That's right. In that day you will know there was a prophet amongst you, man. Yeah. Keep going, bro. Verse 6. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though by words... Yeah, briars and thorns. Though buyers and briars and thorns be with thee. And that's those that's these two thirds, man. They're briars and thorns, man. Go ahead. And thou dost dost dwell among scorpions. And dwell among scorpions, man. Hey, but guess what, Yahweh I said I will give you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, man. The serpents is what? You goddamn Edomites and the scorpions, you fuck ass niggas, man. You Idumian Hamites, man. So you can't come against this word, man. You can do nothing against the truth before it, man. That's the scripture right. says. Go ahead, brother. Be not afraid of their words, mm -hmm. nor be dismayed at their looks. Exactly, man. Because guess what uh, Yahweh Shai said? I will give you a mouth that no man can gainsay or resist, man. Right. That's the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Go ahead, brother. Though they be a rebellious house. Though they be a rebellious house, man. Read. And thou shalt speak men Salaki. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. We speak in the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. Not the words of our own belly. Yeah, that's, right. that's why people don't like it, man. That's right. That's why we out here on the Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't in the club going up on a Tuesday, nigga. <laughs> whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, yep. for they are most rebellious. Right. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou, be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Right, man. 